Hey guys, Tom here with CellPhoneTrek.com. Today we have the uh, full review of the Samsung Craft for Metro PCS. It's a great device. It's a not a smartphone. It's a multimedia phone. Uh, has a great camera on it. A really nice screen. Um, runs fairly quickly. A little laggy, but we'll get into that into the full review. And so. Let's get into it and I'll show you all the goodies. But first, Cell Phone Trek is on Facebook and Twitter, at Cell Phone Trek on Twitter, and Cell Phone Trek on Facebook, like us there. And you guys will be privy to all our free giveaway information that we release only on those two sites. So check it out. Let's get into the full review. All right, as we can see, we have the device right here. I'm gonna bounce it around a little bit. We, anyways, continuing on. Um, Let's just break it down by the hardware here real quick. We got a 3.3 inch AMOLED screen with a resolution of 800 by 480. Uh, phone has an internal memory of 165 uh, megabytes. Uh, does have the ability, does have a micro SD card slot, which is right here. Uh, does, it comes with a two gig card installed with the movie uh, Star Trek, the new one, not the old one, the new one on here. And, um, but it is expandable up to 32 gigabytes, so thumbs up for 32 gigabytes. Um, it is a 4G phone. It's not running on the 4G service that you see with uh, Sprint, which is WiMAX. It's running on LTE. It's actually the first operational LTE device available to the public on a national carrier. Um, so thumbs up for firsts. Um, the screen, very nice screen, but it does not support multi-touch. That was kind of a fail, so no pinch to, no pinch to zoom. And to unlock, you touch the power button. It runs Samsung, um, Samsung's TouchWiz UI, uh, some more, uh, it's supposed to be 3.0. You have volume rocker bar and uh, voice search, dedicated camera key, micro USB charging, 3.5 millimeter headset jack, and nothing on the bottom. So, oops. We use our 3.2 megapixel camera with LED flash and beauty mirror. Has a 1500 mAh battery. Just a massive battery. That's the only thing underneath here. It does have a SIM card that comes with it. Uh, looks like the SIM card might be um, there to help use the LTE service. It does have a full four line QWERTY keyboard with the dedicated number rows. Was not a fan of this keyboard. Um, it's nice, it's decent. Directional pad shoved down into the bottom. Even the, like, if you're gonna have a keyboard like this, we're gonna set this down. This is the Intensity 2. This is a $50 phone for Verizon. This phone cost $249 uh, through Metro PCS. $50 through Verizon. This has a better keypad than the Craft, in my opinion. Uh, spaced out a little better, dedicated number row, um, space bar sure is in the way, but you still have this nice, better directional pad, but with this being a touch screen, this wasn't even really necessary. Um, it's just, it really isn't. They could easily put a dedicated period key here, uh, www.key.com key, you know, something like that. Uh, does have HTML browsing on here. Uh, not the best. Uh, the, even with a really nice screen, when using the actual web browser, it was a little lackluster. So, we'll show you how to navigate the phone here basically. Call quality on here was really nice, however people could tell that I was, uh, when I was outside with wind and everything, they could tell that I was definitely on a cell phone. Interior calls weren't that bad. Um, uh, battery life, mm, standby time was really nice. I, it just, I just kind of let it sit on the table for about four days, and didn't really touch it, just occasionally looked at it, and it, you know, always had battery. And, it's pretty nice. Here's your your widgets and everything that you can have. Uh, clocks, your voicemail widgets, things of that nature. Um, already on here. Uh, has an IM client. Everybody likes that. You got MySpace. It does uh, is Wi-Fi enabled, so that's definitely always a win. You have uh, 411 at your Metro client and browser here. If you touch up here, easy, quick connect to no matter what page you're on, you can activate Bluetooth, music, uh, Wi-Fi, or access the browser right here across the top, so that's always real nice. And 
moving on. And then back to music player. We'll show you, go into the menu here. Oops, go back. I was trying to, there you go. You have two pages. You gotta be quick about it, because if you go a little slow, you just kind of click on things like Metro Studio. Uh, but here's another way to access your uh, IM and social. You have some mobile banking things. A lot of um, bloatware by Metro on here. Wasn't a big fan of it. Uh, here's a way to access some of your widgets. Uh, camcorder, music player. So we'll go ahead, access the camera. Get you an idea what the camera looks like. Camera's, again, super easy to use, especially when you have a dedicated uh, camera key. It's just always super, super easy. Just hold it down. It's a little slow, but pictures come out well. They weren't grainy. You do have send options. Um, okay, that's nice. A little slow, though, as you can tell. This is where I was talking about where it gets laggy. And you can send the picture to, you know, a group, your contacts, recent calls. Um, so. Switching between this and camcorder mode is real easy. Samsung does it right with their cameras. You change right between the modes to camcorder. Uh, films in uh, VGA quality, which is 640 by 480. Uh, 15 frames per second, so it's going to be a little grainy, it's going to be a little small. Not the best, but if you definitely see the most hilarious moment ever, you have to record it. Um, wouldn't be a bad uh, device to get it on. It's not the worst one, I should say. Get out of here. Uh, show you what messaging is going to look like. Uh, let's send a message, text message, to whoever we don't care. Set it to a dead number. You put that in there and now you can put your text in. Slide that out, start texting. Hello. With the number key up here, you definitely sometimes want to jump up there, but you just have to really push yourself not to do that. There is a little bit of a learning curve, a little adjustment period, and it's very, very, very wide. So I felt myself wanting to, always having to use two thumbs, I couldn't just sit here and just kinda like knock it out. So, how are you today? So, again, pretty decent, but overall a little heavy. Um, weighs about, if I remember correctly, weighs uh, six ounces, a little over, I believe, um, just with a big battery in there. But this is definitely a taste of things to come with Metro PCS. Overall, I mean, a decent, a decent camera for them. I mean, a really nice camera for Metro PCS line, a great sliding device, uh, getting into a multimedia device such as this um, with, you know, a proprietary UI, you can get into YouTube client, um, you know, your social networking, really easy, a Wi-Fi enabled device, something that's really wanting you to get onto the web with. Uh, 4G enabled device as well to get into a heavier, web browsing, you're definitely going to actually start seeing probably within the next six months some real smartphones coming to Metro. But overall, I definitely have to give this one of the best smartphones or best uh, phones on my Metro PCS currently. Uh, here's an idea of what the web browser looks like. No pinch to zoom, but hold this down and then you can zoom in like so, goes away. Uh, does support multiple tabs. You can get in here and tap to your right. Another multiple tab. This is about blank. Tap this down to here about blank. Type in here. You go www. There's a search that we did to Android Trek. If you haven't been to Android Trek, definitely check it out. And then hit the OK key to go. 
you know, we only have a couple bars of service and we didn't enact the Wi-Fi. So this might be a little slow, but it's not always going to represent uh, Wi-Fi. Obviously, and always a, a really nice choice. Uh, 4G for this phone is available currently in Dallas and uh, Vegas. So if you're in those cities, great. It's also launching in more and more cities um, as the time goes on by. So if more cities have come out since I've made this video. Um, I apologize to those cities. So as you can tell, it is a little slow though. It is a little laggy even with, I have four bars of signal here in the corner as you can see. Just a little slow. I mean, it's no, it's no replacement for like an Epic or a Galaxy S phone or an Evo or an iPhone, you know, definitely not. But if you're on Metro PCS and you're in that restricted budget of smartphones and multimedia phones, this would definitely be a cost. It's a little high of an initial cost at you know 240. Two forty nine ninety nine plus tax, tag, title, fees, etc. You know, throwing a free car freshener in here or something. I don't know. And uh, my attempt at humor, I apologize. And uh, it's not, it's not that bad. I just, it's hard to get really, really behind this phone, uh, playing with all the other phones that we do. But overall, call quality was great. Um, you know, picture on this is really nice compared to other smartphone. Um, multimedia phones or just feature phones um, but as you can tell I think it's the internet has just timed out I think it's just given up so definitely maybe use Wi-Fi when you're dealing with this phone um, or be in a you know definite strong signal area for the for the device itself um, never really had a reception problem on this phone always kind of had signal wherever we traveled but we traveled when then one major city, we didn't do a lot of cross-city cross, cross city traveling. Oh well, I've given up on this browser here. Again, my name's Tom with CellPhoneTrek.com. Thanks for watching. Uh, it's the Samsung Craft for Metro PCS. It is, again, $249.99 with two-year, or without two-year contract, I apologize. I'm just used to saying that all the time. Um, with uh, Metro PCS contract, it's a really, really great, you know, multimedia device but if you're looking for a smartphone uh, you will be disappointed um, but you know with the free Star Trek movie that's on there uh, with the with the nice camera on here video camera uh, it's definitely one of the nicest phones that you've seen on the Metro PCS and I think it's a taste of things to come I would definitely wait maybe on purchasing this device uh, so you could see what other devices may be in time for Christmas sometime after CES in January, uh, which is a big consumer electronics show that's held in Las Vegas every year. Maybe wait to see what new devices are going to start rolling out onto their LTE network. So this is just like a heads up kind of phone. Again, we're on Facebook and Twitter. Check us out there. Appreciate that. You know, you're on Facebook. We're on Facebook. Let's become friends, you know, buddies, pals, chums, comrades. Um, thinking of Rocky when I said comrades because of Russians and communists, etc. And Twitter at Cell Phone Trek. Follow us there. You can learn, you can hear our tweets, see what we're talking about. Appreciate that as well. Again, I'm Tom. Thanks for watching. And again, I hope that you have yourself a great day.